Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way of adding a WooCommerce button to your WordPress website. So let's jump right in. Here I am in the WordPress admin dashboard. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to customize the products that I want to sell on my website. And in order to do that, I'm going to click on products here in the WordPress admin dashboard. Now this entry will be added after you have installed WooCommerce on your website. So I'll click on that. And here, all of the products that you want to sell will be listed, right? And as you can see, for this example, I already added a few products, but in order to add a new one, you can simply click on add new, or if you want to import a CSV file, you can use the import option. And other than that, as you can see, each product has a certain name, a certain image that you can associate with it, and a few other details, right? Such as stock, price, categories, or tags. But if we want to add a button on the site and then link that button to one of these products, we need to look at the product ID, right? So for example, this one has this following ID here. So let's go ahead and add that button and see how we can link this ID to a certain button. So we're going to go to pages here in the WordPress sidebar. So click on pages and let's just add a new page for this example. So click on add new and I'm going to name this page. I don't know, example one, something like that. So now we can go ahead and publish the page. Now, moving forward, you can use the WordPress editor for this, right? But that's not going to be too easy because you're going to have to use short codes and it will get too complicated. What I will do in this example, I will use the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress. So I'm going to simply click on launch Thrive Architect here. And in Thrive Architect, I simply selected a sales page template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this WooCommerce button on a pricing table, right? So in order to do that, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to add the pricing table at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to drag the pricing table and simply place it here. And real quick, I'm going to change the template for this pricing table. So. I'm going to use the template that is very similar to the current sales page template. So choose this one. Now the pricing table already has the buttons, but still they're not linked to my product. So I'm going to have to do that. And as the pricing table has three sections, I already have three products. So it's perfect. Now I'm going to simply have to change the names here because this one is called premium in my case. And this one is called unlimited, right? Other than that, the prices are all set up and I'm ready to link the buttons. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to click on the first button and I'm going to link a URL to the button. And that's how you're going to have to do it as well. So the first thing that you need to write in the URL is your site name, right? So write that in the URL field. I'm going to simply paste my URL. And after that, after you have added .com or whatever site you have, you're going to have to type in slash cart slash question mark add dash two dash cart equals that ID that the product has. Now, in my case, the product ID will be one five one ten. Right. And in order to use this on the other buttons as well, I'm going to copy the entire thing until the product ID. Right. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to the second button here and place it again here. And the ID is one five zero nine. And in the last case, the same thing here and one four nine zero, right? As simple as that. And now I can save the page and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to preview it in order to see how the visitors will have this experience and how they will see the entire thing. So preview this page. So here's the pricing table. And if I click on one of the buttons, for example, on book now for premium, I will be sent to the checkout page. So click on book now here. 
And basically this is the page that the visitor will see after he has clicked on the WooCommerce button. And in our case, the premium product is now in the shopping cart and the visitor can go ahead and purchase it. And basically this concludes our tutorial of how to link a button to your WooCommerce product. Now, in our case, we didn't actually have to add the product. It was already there in the pricing table because we have used Thrive Architect, but we could have added the button somewhere else and it would have been very easy to do that. Now, if you're not using Thrive Architect, I'll leave a link for it below and you can go ahead and check it out. Other than that, basically, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.